We are now connected with the manager of the Indonesian national esports team, Mr. Erlangga Putra. Hello, good morning. Hi. Uh, hi, Erlangga. All right, we'll speak about uh, Indonesian team uh, on eSport uh, on SEA Games 2022. Out of the 122 athletes who joined the national training uh, and how m m many will uh, make it to the Indonesian national eSport team, uh, Erlangga? Erlangga, are you still with us? Oh, okay. Oh, right. So basically, Hans, uh, do you know much about esports, or do you play any games in your device? I do play a game, mm. Wordle. Mm. That's it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so if there's any competition in Wordle, <laughs> uh, I would probably enroll myself. Yeah. Now we are connected. We are uh, getting reconnected to Erlanga. Now Erlanga, out of okay, the 122 mm. athletes um, who joined the national training. How many will make it to the Indonesian national esports team? Mm, 66 national athletes will join the national team better. So, sorry, how many? 66. 66. 66 will yeah. join the national army. Na national uh, national because team. Because we compete in 10 members of esports competition, right? Okay. All right. So, how long is the national training going to take? That uh, has it uh, have wow. multiple steps. Uh, actually, it will be until April. Mm -hmm. uh, so in April, we start the quarantine because we don't want to get uh, risking getting COVID mm -hmm. to the other, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the step is maybe around two steps. Lah. We're not doing the first phase. Sorry, excuse me? We cannot hear uh, you clearly. The step is two steps. Uh -huh. uh, we're, we're, not, uh, we're not at the first step. Oh, mm. now Indonesia is in the first step. So can you tell us or yeah. describe more about the first step or each step that all the athletes have to go through uh, before they uh, go Compete to in, the, in Vietnam? Yeah, yes. Uh, first step is more like attitude, mental, and of course, skill in game. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But we, we focusing on mental first because mm -hmm. uh, learning from the mistake in 2019 mm -hmm. during the game in Philippines, mm -hmm. because the delay of the event, our, our player is the mental going down. Oh, mm, okay. I see. Okay. Uh, that so is actually, there is more than just uh, a game when it yeah. comes to esports. Yes. Apparently, yeah. you have to train the attitude and also the mental, uh -huh. and also, of course, the core of it, the, the gaming skill. Yeah. And um, among these aspects that you've mentioned, Erlanga, what is the focus of the national training? Uh, the focus right now for the skill, actually, we are in the world phase. Mm, mm. So that's why I mentioned mental earlier because the main thing is the mental is the number one thing that we consider right now. Mm. Oh, okay, mm. okay. So how do you see uh, our athletes at the moment? Since uh, you, you know, it's the Sea Games is just around the corner. Mm -hmm. How do you see it? The progress uh, with our athletes now. The progress is very. Very good, mm -hmm. doing well because we hire a psychologist. Sir. Sorry? Uh, we hire a psychologist. Oh, psychologist. Oh, okay. They hire hire psychologist. The, okay, uh, the psychologist. For the, so, for the yeah. mental uh, training. Yeah, how do they get trained? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, they have to be inside the boarding house, uh, disconnected with uh, from outside, disconnected with the families, mm -hmm. or how do they uh, get trained? Compared to any other sports, as mm -hmm. we know, they, they have to stick with the schedule, yeah, yeah. the um, eat, uh, the, eat, the meal plans, and mm -hmm. everything. How is the uh, quarantine for the esports athletes? Same, same like the other sport. Uh, we are at the training camp, mm -hmm. so we're focusing from Monday to Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Saturday and Sunday. They can go back to the on life, but still on the training camp because we're doing a bubble now. 
Oh, ah, okay. So you're also doing a, like a bubble camp. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Just to uh, prepare yep. the athletes ready yeah, for yeah. the competition in SEA right. Games 2022. Right. Now, um, uh, because you are, please uh, do bear in mind that you're actually talking to, to people who don't really understand about esports. Uh, we actually curious about how many esports categories will be featured in the 2022 SEA Games and which ones are Indonesia's uh, medal targets? Uh, 10 categories. 10 categories. And all of them is our target for medals. Mm -hmm. So how many? 10. 10. There is 10 categories out of from how many? 10, 10, 10 categories, 10 10. but uh, the, the categories that Indonesia is targeting on to get uh, medals, how many categories? Actually, all of them is target medal, but for the gold medal, mm. it's five. Oh, okay. Ah, there I are see. ten categories, but for the gold medals, uh, Indonesia are getting to get five uh, gold medals nah. in the SEA uh, Games. So among those five uh, gold medals uh, as a target, what do you think about the potential of our athletes in the global stage? Uh, actually, back then we are the world champion. Whoa! Mm -hmm. So we were world champion. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Seriously. Uh, around 2019, we are the world champion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not going to be, um, uh, still not going to be an easy thing, but uh, we, we got there and uh, we hope that uh, we will be there again in the 2022. Yeah, but the, like I, may, I said uh, earlier, the mental thing is the issue at home. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, can you uh, please elaborate that since you mentioned that uh, Indonesian team uh, become a world championship in 2019. Mm -hmm. It's a different situation that we had that we have now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's been uh, two and a half years we are um, doing activity during the pandemic and everything. So, do you have any strategy to uh, cope with that mental issue that you are mm -hmm. mentioning uh, that you mentioned uh, before, Erlanga? How you deal with that? Yeah, I already. So we doing like a bonding and like. We waking up the nationality between their heart, you know. Sorry. Mm. Because uh, back in 2019, they were champion. It's depressing during the club. Uh huh. So uh, I want to know that if they represent the country, uh -huh. if we win, if we win the gold medal, uh -huh. uh, all of Indonesian uh, people will talk of them, not only the fans. Ah, mm. okay, okay. So, so that kind of mentality but, that needs so to be... So they must have that in their mind. Oh, mm. okay, okay. So uh, what do you think uh, the main obstacle that probably the Indonesian esports team uh, facing at the moment for 2022 SEA Games related to the mental issues that you uh, mentioned earlier? Uh, maybe like uh, the schedule because uh, right now, when the training camp is running, we also have the league that's running too, right? Mm, they have the ongoing league as well during the training. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So how... Yeah, that's, that's why I told the player, uh, this is the sacrifice for the country, I think. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, wh who do you think is the uh, uh, probably hard com competitors mm -hmm. for Indonesia? The main competitor yes. for Indonesia. Of course, the host, Vietnam and Philippines. Vietnams and Philippines. Okay. Wow. Okay. And um, the thing. But uh, we must treat all the all the other countries the same way. Sorry. Uh, we must treat the other countries the same way. Mm, they have to they have to treat all the competitors the same. Right. Because uh, they need to consider everyone. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Every yeah. country yeah. is competitors. Now, Erlanga Putra, thank you so much for your time. And also thank you so much yeah, for your explanations. You. Uh, big success for uh, our eSport teams in uh, SEA Games 2022. Stay safe. Bye. Yeah, thank you.